Hi everyone, I'm Dean Webb with NetworkingForums.com. I'd like to talk about the Software Bill of Materials, or SBOM, SBOM, not Kaboom Bomb, Bill of Materials Bomb, SBOM. What is it? Okay, well, you remember when we had the Log4J business and people were wondering, is Log4J in this product? Is it in that product? Is it in that one over there? Is it in that one over there? And we realize we need a list of all the software pieces that make up the products that we're using. That's a software bill of materials. So, for example, in a Cisco router, there's a lot of software that goes in there. And we don't necessarily see it because, well, we, the networking professionals, just go to the command line or the GUI and we configure things and that's that. Well... If there is something under the hood, like Log4J or Apache Web Server or you know, whatever, if there's something that's going on under there, we need to know so that way if there is a vulnerability in it, we can patch it, we can fix it, or we know to wait on the vendor and maybe do something to mitigate that vulnerability until we get the patch. So what do we need to get the software bill of materials? Is it going to be just a list of ingredients on every product and we got to copy it down by hand? Well, thankfully, no. There's are, there are a group of products that are emerging that will actually automate this function. They can go out, do intelligence on your network, or you type in what things you have, or you connect it to your CMDB, whatever. But you let it know what it is you have, and then it checks back with the vendor to see what's in that stuff, and then will tell you, should there be a vulnerability, what you need to do about it, and which products are impacted by it, which versions of which products are impacted by it. And that can be very important because when, you know, the next log for j hits, if you've got a good software bill of materials management system that's automated, as soon as that hits the streets, it will then spit out a list of here's everything in your enterprise that has to be mitigated, protected, repaired, whatever but you'll have that full list and you'll know what is impacted and what is not impacted. And then you can make plans based on that. These things are not impacted by it. They can protect the things that are impacted if they're network devices, for example. So get a software bill of materials. Look for software bill of material automation or SBOM automation. If you're in a government network, this is something that uh, the DHS and CISA are pushing for. If you're not in a government network, well, it's going to come to you anyway. And it's a good idea. Even for us networkers, we need to know what's out there because that can impact all the stuff that's happening on our network. So for networkingforums.com, and that's networking-forums.com, <laughs> I'm Dean Webb, and I encourage you to come by to networking-forums.com where there's a lot of really smart people ready to give you a lot of really good advice. We'll see you next time. Like, comment, and subscribe.